This is the scenic, majestic forest of Neverland Ranch. Just kidding. This is actually the forest outside of North Dakota's Capitol. Capitol building. You might be able to see it through the trees there, the building. Try to get a better view. It's kind of a tannish building, but you can see the skyscraper in the background. It's just like a nice little pleasant walk. I wanted to capture some footage of Bismarck's capital in North Dakota. Beautiful state, lots of nice people. We just went to the mall, um, enjoying ourselves, enjoying ourselves so far on this wonderful Saturday. Aman is on the phone with someone. He did most of the all of the driving. And we're going to visit my good friend Kyle, who's working in the wind farms up here in North Dakota. He's driving to visit us in Bismarck. But I just am just very enamored, enamored, enamored by this wonderful forest. It's very peaceful. I'm enjoying myself, just recording a quick little YouTube snippet. The trees are placed so ideally apart. It's just, it's something magical. I feel it, it's a little weird because we're the only ones here. But maybe on a Saturday, most people just prefer not to go to the state capitol park and uh, want to do other things, like play baseball or build model planes in their basements. You know, it's all it's all good. People have their hobbies. It's important for them. Nice, nice uh, bluish, cloudy day, half and half, I would say. We just walked the extent of that pathway. That's a really cool picture right there. So yeah, Bismarck, North Dakota's capital. Maybe I can, if there weren't so many trees here, I could snag a better image of the tall capitol building. If you're from uh, North Dakota or the surrounding states, you might have a better impression of what the capitol building looks like. But you can kind of see it through the trees there. Maybe I'll loop around and we'll get a better, better footage of it. I know there are some agents patrolling the area. We're just a couple tourists, though, so I'm really enjoying myself. And, uh... I don't know. I mean, this is a unique experience. It's just a little bit ominous because we're the only ones here, so. And here's uh, some kind of older building. I know there were some trees planted around the 80s or so because there was a monument to George Bush, the first George Bush. And there's the Capitol building, and you can kind of see it there. It's, it's taller in person, it seems, versus through the camera. So anyway, I'll get some more footage of this wonderful state for you guys later on. Have a wonderful evening or night or morning when you're viewing this video. And I'll, uh, like I said, get some more footage later on and compile it. Au revoir. At this pond in North Dakota, we are at the most epic pond in the world. In this pond, there have been 10,003 shipwrecks from the naval forces against Japan. North the Oh, shit, there's Kyle. Kyle, what do you have to say about this pond? There are lots of dragonflies? Um, yeah. Lots of dragonflies. And we're going to nuke the Japos. Already, it happens. It does happen. Sorry about that, but you know, World War II is in history, so pretty, pretty dragonflies. That's beautiful. There's a blue one. There's like a greenish one. I want to get close to them, but they won't hold still. So I'll try to film it. Oh, there's a little dragonfly. Come back, come back, dragonfly. Anyway, I do this weird talky thing where I talk about experiences in uh, near west or east, east of Bismarck, North Dakota. And I do this weird thing where I talk into my uh, YouTube channel um, video and uh, kind of whisper like this. So it happens. And people look at me like I'm kind of weird, but it's all part of the experience. So uh, anyway, here's a pond. Au revoir.